Welcome to another video in the series Convertible Debenture. In this video, we will understand the term investment value of a convertible debenture. So the investment value of a convertible debenture is when it is treated as if it is a non-convertible debenture. So what this means is as if it is without the feature of conversion. So as you now know, in a convertible debenture, there is an option to convert the debenture from a debt instrument into a stock of the company. Now, if that conversion feature of converting into stock of the company is not there, then what is the value of the convertible debenture? That value is known as the investment value. Also, this is known as the security value. So there are different terminology which is used to denote the same thing. Investment value or security value of the convertible debenture. Now let us understand this concept in more details. So for this purpose, to understand what is the investment value, we will treat the convertible debenture as if it is a non-convertible debenture. So consider that a company ABC Corp issues non-convertible debentures which give 12% interest per annum. Now the investment amount for each debenture is rupees 600. That means each debenture comes at a price of rupees 600. Also, consider that these debentures can be redeemed at the end of eight years. So at the end of eight years, you get this amount back. So for eight years, every year you get 12% interest per annum on rupees 600. And at the end of eight years, you get rupees 600 also back. So let us plot this on a time scale. So this is the time scale where we have eight years plotted on this time scale. Now original investment amount is 600 rupees. And at the end of every year, we are getting 12% interest. So at the end of first year, we'll get 12% of rupees 600. Now 12% of rupees 600 is equal to rupees 72. Similarly, at the end of second year, we get rupees 72, rupees 72 and so on. And at the end, that is at the end of eight years, we get rupees 72 plus rupees 600. This rupees 600 is basically the amount that we had invested, we get the amount back. And the interest rate is given 12%. So let's just mention here. So now we have to find out the value of this non-convertible debenture. I also recommend that you also look at my videos on the subject time value of money. There we have considered how to find out the present value, future value. And that is the same concept we'll be using here to find out the investment value of a convertible debenture. So basically you are getting these 72 rupees every year. So we have to find out the value that the present value. So that is the PV present value of this scenario. That is if in future after one year I get rupees 72, then what is the present value of this 72 rupees? And if after two years I am getting rupees 72, then what is the present value? And then when I add up all these and at the end of eight years, I also get 600. I add the present value of that as well. Then I get the investment value of a convertible debenture. So 
basically this is the PV1 this will be PV2 this will be PV3 and so on so for simplicity of calculation I am going to break this into two parts in the first part I am going to consider the interest that I am getting as an annuity because every year I am getting 72 rupees as the interest for eight years so I will find out the present value of this annuity and then separately I will find out the present value of this rupees 600 which I am getting at the end of eight years so first is present value of an annuity is the annuity amount into bracket 1 divided by i where i is the interest rate minus 1 divided by i into bracket 1 plus i to the power n now pv is for present value a is for the annuity amount i is the interest rate and n is the tenure so let's plug in these values so this is equal to a which is 72 1 divided by i now i is equal to r by 100 r here is 12 so this becomes 12 by 100 which is equal to 0 0.12 so 0 0.12 minus 1 divided by 0 0.12 into bracket 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power 8 now after calculation the value will be 72 multiplied by 4.9676 which is equal to 357.67 rupees. So this is part 1 because this is the present value of the annuity. Now we have to find out the present value of this rupees 600 which we are going to get after eight years. I will quickly show how to derive the formula for present value in this case. So as we know the formula for compound interest it is amount is equal to principal into bracket 1 plus r by 100 to the power n. So this is the amount which we are going to get which is the future value. This is the amount which we have invested which is the present value. So present value will be equal to A divided by 1 plus R by 100 to the power N which can also be written as A divided by 1 plus I to the power N. So basically present value is equal to future value divided by 1 plus i to the power n. Now present value is what we have to find out. Future value is rupees 600. i is 12 percent and n is 8. So let's plug in the values and find the answer. So present value is equal to future value is 600 divided by 1 plus 0 0.12 to the power Eight, which is equal to 600 multiplied by 0 0.4039 and this is equal to 242.33 rupees so this is my second part so total value is equal to 1 plus 2 which is equal to 357.67 plus 242.33 which is equal to rupees 600 so this is the present value of the scenario that is given to us in other words this is the investment value of a convertible debenture now as you can see the investment value and this investment value is coming as same 
and that is because we use the same percentage for calculating the annual interest and also consider the same interest rate for calculating the present value. Assume that you had considered a different interest rate for calculating the present value because you might think that in the uh, in the market there are other debentures who are offering me 15 percent. So why don't I consider 15 percent as my required return and then find out the present value. So in that case the present value will be different. So let's say I say my required rate is 15 percent is my i is equal to 15 percent or rather r is 15 percent so i will be equal to 0 0.15 so now let's find out how this changes the equation so instead of this it will be 0 0.15 and then here again 0 0.15 1 plus 0 0.15 to the power 8 everything else remains the same so this will become 72 multiplied by 4.4873 which will be equal to 323.09 rupees. So this is my first part. In the second part again it will be instead of this 1 plus 0 0.15 to the power 8 and this will come out to be 196.14 rupees so the total will be equal to 323.09 plus 196.14 which is equal to 519.23 rupees so as you can see we were getting 12% interest on this debenture so we are getting 72 rupees on an annual basis however if we think that we should have gotten 15% because the other investments are giving 15% the present value at 15% required rate is not equal to 600 but lower than this that is 519 rupees. So as you saw, as and when the required rate changes, the investment value is impacted.